Well, hey there, welcome to the first session of Entrepreneur Live. Now, my name's Chad Nicely, and what we're gonna be doing, in addition to the podcast, we're gonna be actually doing these special video uh, reviews. We just got all kinds of fun stuff going, and I'll tell you, this is something that's been in the works for a long time. Uh, it was supposed to be kicked off the first of the year, but I got sick, and I was out of town, and at various events, and out of the country, and you know how things get delayed. But here we are, session number one, Entrepreneur Live. Now, you guys need to do something before you do anything else, okay? And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to entrepreneurlive.tv forward slash winner, okay? Now, what's going to happen is you need to get in on that membership because we're doing something that nobody else is doing. First of all, guys, we're gonna have a blast, okay? I'm gonna keep this show just entertaining, fun. We're gonna get in these guys' heads. We're gonna put them on the spot, and we're just gonna have a great time, okay? I promise you that, and I'm gonna over-deliver. But here's what's really cool, okay? On all of these shows, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be giving away the actual products. Maybe we can get some OTOs in there. Maybe we get some of the big special offers. Whatever we can do. We're going to make this a very special show because we want you guys to tune in and we want to provide a lot of value. And we definitely want you guys to have some takeaways and walk away from this with a whole new mindset. And we want you guys to have a clear path and know exactly what you need to do to have a successful online business. Okay? That's what Entrepreneur Live is about. Now, for session number one, I'm real excited because I tell you what, one of the guys that I admire the most, his name is Sam Baker. Just a stand-up guy, most of you know him, very successful in this business, has created a lot of quality products, and I was just thrilled half to death to have him be the first guest on the show. So, Mr. Baker, are you present, sir? Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, how's it going? Sam, how you doing, buddy? You're looking yeah, good, man. Yeah, You're looking good. Right. Look, how, look how clear yeah, your camera geez. is, man. That's just awesome. Yeah, hey, it's cool. Sam, yeah. first of all, um, you intrigue me. Uh, you're somebody that I've always enjoyed talking to, just down-to-earth guy. We've had a lot of great conversations, um, got to participate in a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you're actually going to be speaking at uh, one of our events that we have coming up here real soon. Real excited about that. Have you been yeah. to the United States before, Sam? Uh, oh, no, no, <laughs> not really. I've been to Hawaii, but that's as close as I got to, um, to anywhere near the states so looking forward to going to vegas and yeah, yeah. have a look experiencing the u.s <laughs> yeah we're, we're gonna tear it up in vegas brother we're gonna have a good time uh what's some of the things that you look forward to doing i mean i can imagine like coming to the united states for the first time i mean what what is it that that you plan on doing first and foremost besides vegas like i know there's a lot to do in vegas but i mean what else you want to do yeah. Um, I'll probably die. Uh, I'm not even sure. <laughs> I'll probably hit some of the um, the, the sites or whatever is there to, to be seen. Um, I haven't really looked into it, eh? but I'm sure there's plenty to to um, to go to and see. Now, your accent, you're originally from? Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Okay. And are you living in New Zealand right now? Uh, no, nah, I'm in Thailand. Thailand. Um, here, I'll tell you what, ago, man. Yeah. Lucky guy, and I'm going to be coming to see you here real quick, man, because Thailand, I came like this close to moving there, but the thing yeah. is, I have little girls and everything, so they, they keep me, I'm actually in Casper, Wyoming, right? Like, <laughs> it is what it is, right? But I'm originally from California, so I claim the beach, right? Like, that's, that's my hometown, but I've always yeah. heard just amazing things about Thailand, big party town, and very, very family-oriented in parts, right? And uh, I mean, is is that something you enjoy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm in Pai here, so it's quite um, quite a small like community. But it's it, like it's a real small place. There's only about twenty thousand people that actually live here. Um, but the yeah, it's it's good though. Um, there's a real um, a lot of marketers here. Like yeah. um, I don't know. There's a um, there's a thing that launched WP Mage. If you remember that, yeah, um, stand up that, guys. That was launched out of here. Yeah, um, those guys they live they they live around here nearby. Um, so it's been quite good to catch up with some marketers around here. We don't really have many marketers in New Zealand, and they're all spread out. So um, yeah. bit of a bit of a change. Internet's good as well. So 
Yeah. yeah. And I know, I remember looking at the cost of living in Thailand or something like it was crazy, right? Like an apartment yeah. was like 200 bucks a month or something. Yeah. I mean, a really yeah, nice yeah. apartment, and right? The food, food is great as well. Um, food is about $2 a meal and that's like at a restaurant type place. So like, um, what, what do they, what do they, like, what do you guys eat? Oh, just um, burgers and um, Mexican. We've got a Mexican place just next door. Uh, we've got a, um, uh, there's like a real nice restaurant, like a fine dining restaurant down the road. That one's a bit more expensive. You're looking at about um, $6 per meal there. Um, and you sit down and, uh, yeah, and these are New Zealand dollars, by the way, not US dollars. New yeah. Zealand dollars a bit uh, lesser than the, the US. Um, so, yeah, just anything. You can go Thai, like you can go and um, have some Thai food and stuff. Like I have Thai a few times a week, but mainly I'm eating Western food. There's um, all sorts of Western places um, started by people that have come here and, and lived here with Thai wives and stuff and have just set themselves up and created businesses. So, yeah, it's cool. I, I love it. It's, so it's very, great. very Americanized, it sounds like, very Westernized. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's, yeah, um, uh, yeah, all sorts all around the place. It's, um, yeah, you, you don't need to eat Thai if you don't want to. There's always a risk, though. Like, I've actually just had food poisoning. I've been um, vomiting <laughs> all yesterday. Not the ideal thing to be going through, going into a launch this morning. I was pretty sick, but um, first time I've been sick in about three months here, so um, yeah. not too bad. <laughs> man, yeah. get get rid of that stuff before you come come out here to Vegas, man. We want you to just to have yeah. a great time, man. Ah, that's cool. I'm sure will. And the internet's really good out there, I take it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they actually, to hook up my internet, it's quite funny. They actually climbed up to the um, the power lines and actually just grabbed the the coil or whatever that was the internet coil and um, put it through my window directly into my um, uh, internet. So <laughs> it's basically fiber. It's just directly from the system. So um, real quick, yeah, I can, um, you know, it's, I think it's 10 megabit or whatever. I can do about um, five megabytes per second um, here, which is cool and uploads good as well. So ideal for marketing. Yeah. yeah you know, that's, and that's what's so cool about this business. Like I was telling my little girls, I'm like, girls, we can go anywhere you want to go, man. I got friends in Thailand. I got friends in Australia and the UK, London, right? Like we got connections like all around the world. And yeah. it, this is like one of the few businesses, and I'm not just talking about product launches or creating your own products, but I'm talking about online marketing in general, where we get to connect from people all around the world, right? It's, yeah, exactly. And it's just... And and if I can just kind of pick your brain a little bit, what did you do before you got into online marketing? Um, I was actually, uh, um, I, was a, I was doing a bit of marketing like through um, high school. I had um, like a few, I sold like drinks and stuff and then I started importing electronics from overseas and that did quite well. But then um, ended up spending all that money and um, I got really into my um, bodybuilding of all things, actually. I got, bodybuilding? Uh, started working as a, yeah, as a bouncer in a club. Okay, yeah, you <laughs> and, and I have a lot in common. I did that, too. Hey, that's cool. <laughs> I did it for the girls, thing, right? Know. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's, yeah that, was, that was always good. And um, then after that, I popped out my kneecap in a fight um, at the club. And then so I had to stop bouncing, so I went into a call center job as I just turned off my phone. Um, went into a call center job, and I was working... I was uh, trying to learn online marketing at the time, but mm -hmm. uh, most of the time I was just on the phones trying to sell people into telecommunications, um, which went on for about two months until the boss pulled me in and, and said that he was uh, going to have to fire me in the next week if I didn't make a sale because I hadn't made a single one in two months being there. <laughs> I was pretty hopeless. Yeah, so you were a telemarketer, is that what you just said? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, man. Long. And there's no yeah. stopping it, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I did. I can't. I can't say it on the show. I did find a way to finally yeah. stop those telemarketers, but it's very inappropriate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, I can't talk about it. I, mean, I had a few things that came up, but yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So we know a little bit about your background with telemarketing. It's pretty interesting and everything. So. Sam, like, what was the big epiphany? Like, what was the big aha moment? Like, do you remember when you made, like, your first real dollar online? Like, first real, legit, honest, hardworking dollar online. Do you remember that moment? Yeah, I do. Um, I, was, I was actually working at the time. Um, I was working, um, doing offline marketing, and I decided I wanted to get online um, to do some online marketing. And it was actually an affiliate product that I was selling. It was through a blog post that I'd written up or something and got my first dollar 95 sale. Uh, it was great. 
yeah. dollar ninety five, and then it would be twenty seven dollars the next month. The person didn't renew, but I was happy to make my first dollar. <laughs> and, yeah, and did you automatically start thinking? Did you start saying, okay, I can just scale this up? You know, this is a numbers game. If I if I bring in more traffic, I'm going to have more sales. I mean, what was your thought process at the time? Um, yeah, definitely. I, I think that um, for me, like I started doing a bit more affiliate marketing. I did. I made some cash out of that, and then um, that sort of led me on to creating my own products and finding other ways to generate more leads, which I did through um, releasing reports onto the Warrior Forum and um, around the web. That generated me some good traffic, and then after that, I um, went into creating products and selling products. Ah, so you came in from the Warrior Forum too. Yeah, and, and <laughs> you can see some of my messages actually up there still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and what year was that, Sam? That was back in 2010. Ah, uh, yeah, those are good days on the Warrior Forum. That's yeah. when generating <laughs> leads is like stealing candy from a baby, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was, it was pretty good. Yeah, and so so then you transitioned from affiliate marketing into creating and launching your own products, right? Yeah. And do you remember yeah. the first product you launched, and what year was that? Um, yeah, that was the same year. Um, about six months or six weeks actually after making my first sale. I um, launched my first products and um, did quite well. It was it was quite cool. Just on the Warrior Forum special offers, uh -huh. managed to make about six hundred dollars my first day, and then three thousand the next week. Yeah, and then um, big money. Yeah, then after that, yeah, yeah, it was good at the time. Yeah, I was, I was loving it. it <laughs> That's great. big money when you're coming from affiliate marketing and ClickBank and stuff like that, right? Yeah. yeah and so really since good. then, how many products do you think you've launched? Uh, it would have been close to thirty, maybe thirty. Really, that many. Uh, wow. you, yeah, you launched a lot at the start to get some traction going. <laughs> yeah. And um, that's what I did. Yeah, and see, but then you get to a point where, you know, everybody knows you, you've built the reputation, you have the trust. And so from here on out, everybody's aware of what you're doing, right? You no longer yeah. have to go through the hoops and everything that you did as a WSO and just getting started and everything else. I mean, you, you paid your dues. Yeah, yeah, pretty right? much. And that's... um. That's something that you, you can't teach people. Uh, like I have students and I tell them, look, you're going to have to go through the motions. You're going to have to start from the bottom up. You're going to have to build trust with people. You're going to have to get yourself out there. And uh, that's, you know, you and I are big video guys. And that has definitely helped us, right? But yeah. it's something yeah. that you just got to put yourself out there and you just got to keep going. And that's not yeah. something that you can teach. No, definitely, and uh, and so momentum starts to happen. I eh? things things start to happen, but you got to yeah work hard at the start to create some momentum for yourself. Start making some cool. sales. <laughs> cool. So all right. So speaking of launches, we got a little bit. We know a little bit more about you, where you came from, and how you built up to success. And it's kind of cool hearing the stories and hearing that you know you did the same things I did, and that we were out there doing affiliate marketing and WSOs, and you know eventually worked up to the big launches and doing the video and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah. speaking of that, we have a launch coming up very shortly, don't we? Uh, yes, um, Social Sway Agent is a new software that we're um, in the process of launching at the moment. Now, this is a Facebook product. Yeah, Facebook. Um, the, it's not, not necessarily all Facebook, though. It can be used with Facebook, but it is also useful um, for any kind of marketing, really, email marketing. If you're a video marketer, there's um, definitely ways to use this. So um, there is definitely a Facebook angle to it because we've had the most success using this with Facebook. But, um, yeah, it's, it's fairly general um, as well. Cool. And so what exactly does this product do, Sam? Cool. So previously, um, uh, like uh, retargeting, if you've heard about retargeting, retargeting basically gives you the ability to follow people around the web who are visitors of yours or potential customers. And mm -hmm. the previous way of doing that is basically you've got a um, visitor, they visit your website, and then once they leave, um, you've got a code on your website that basically follows them around the web. So um, we took this one step further and created a software that not only allowed you to retarget um, your own websites, uh, because obviously when you're using retargeting, you're going to be able to make more money because the more times someone sees the, the offer, the higher a chance that they'll be able to buy. So we went ahead and created a um, product that basically allows any affiliate marketer to um, use retargeting with affiliate products, so JVZoo products, ClickBank products, uh, could be Teespring products. And um, what it means is we can, um, you know, for our affiliate emails, for example, if um, uh, we were doing email marketing, so if, if you had a list or 
you think you're building a list, you could actually have a link in your email that when someone clicked on it, it would take them to the page, um, the affiliate offer or whatever it is, and then if someone left that page, didn't buy, it would actually follow them around the web, it would follow them on Facebook, it would follow them on YouTube, around news sites, um, and, and most of the time someone's not gonna, or sometimes, it depends on price, but often people don't buy the first time they actually see an offer. It takes a few times, two or three, for them to actually realize that, hey, they wanna buy this, especially in our sort of market. Five or six, so be a, quite a bit. Yeah, five or six, yeah. <laughs> uh, to, uh, yeah, uh, we've got yeah, some, um, yeah, it, uh, yeah. Some people take action. For me, I take about five times before yep. I actually buy purchase product. I'll come back to it, and sometimes I'll just I'll walk away and I'll forget about it, and I feel like, oh, what was that product that I, you know, was going to get, and I just completely forgot the name, so <laughs> I can't get it. But um, this what this will do is it basically follow your visitors around the web with your affiliate link. So um, it'll have an, an image or an ad with your affiliate link here. It'll have an image and an ad with your affiliate link here. And people, if they want to go back and they're like, hey, I wanted to get this, they can click through and then purchase and you get a commission from that. And the great thing about retargeting is that it's so cheap to set up and run. Um, these clicks cost next to nothing. They cost like a, a, a cent to, to get these retargeting clicks. So um, there's a huge benefit in doing that for your affiliate promotions and it's going to boost the amount of sales that you can make. So really pretty cool software. Huh. Yeah. And so is it an application? Is it a plugin? This one's a web-based software, so it's fine with Mac and PC. It's yeah, just log in and um, basically create your links. It works with um, the two main um, retargeting sites, AdRoll and Perfect Audience. So okay. you, you'll be able to create campaigns through there. All you need to do is basically create a campaign through there is the usual way you would. It's free to set up, free to do. Just put your images in there for your ads. Then you'll get a, a pixel code at the end. It's quite simple. I've got a demonstration on the on the sales video actually. Um, and then you um, put a put that code into a software. You click save, and okay. it'll um, present you with a new link. And then you've um, you know you're able to then um, use that link to promote um, around the web or in your emails or in ads that you do. Um, okay. There's yeah unlimited possibilities. Do you want to show us a little bit? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. I don't mean to put um, you on the spot, but I'm curious now. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I'll, um, I'll just go through and set this up now. So I'll do share my screen. Um, I don't know if they'll come up. Ah, oh, there we are. So I'm retargeting the JV page, our social spy page, um, spy agent JV page. Um, okay. That's because people have come to our JV page and seen it. Um, this is actually, I was looking at a hotel um, going on holiday very soon. So um, these are targeting um, for some of the resorts that I went to. So I actually booked through Expedia. I was looking at Expedia. And um, this is one of the places that I viewed, so they're retargeting me right now. And that's how retargeting works. So basically, we'll present um, present different uh, different um, images, different ads um, to you if you've visited those sites before, and bring you back to them if you want to. And I'm just looking down at my Facebook um, news feed right now and seeing there's often retargeting that also goes through the news feed um, as well. Um, there we are, and that ad has changed now as well. Now you can see Villa 360, um, another one that I checked out in the area, um, and you've seen that the color of that has changed as well. We're actually testing a number of different ads. So the way we set these up is social um, spy agent.net. I'm just going to enter in my details. Cool, I'm in. And the way we set these up is we go to this thing called the retarget engine, and this works with perfect audience. Okay. And it also works with AdRoll. Both of them. Yeah, and it'll, it'll work with face, Facebook retargeting as well. So um, you can set up campaigns through AdRoll and you can set them up through Perfect Audience. It's free to start, really easy to get going. And um, uh, basically, you'll be able to then get a, a pixel from these sites that allow you to use it. So you just go, go in here, you just put in my campaign. Um, it has to be unique, so you put in your um, like your JVZoo affiliate URL, or maybe it's a um, ClickBank one, or maybe it's a CPA offer, maybe it's Teespring. This will work with Teespring really well because um, if you don't own Teespring, you can't put a code on there right now to retarget, but with this you can. Um, then from there, you get a, a selection, you get a choice. You can either use the Facebook retargeting pixel, the perfect audience retargeting pixel, the ad role um, retargeting pixel and then you've got your cloaking domain. The cloaking domain is basically the um, URL that will show down the bottom here. 
Okay, so um, you'll need to choose a one of our URLs because the way the software works. And once you've entered in your tracking pixel, you just click save and will basically present you with a link to do your retargeting on. Um, and you can do as many of these as you want. You can start this up and um, all your ads will be collected in um, perfect audience or in ad roll. So you'll actually get um, to see all of your details um, and, and the tracking campaigns. If you're doing Facebook retargeting, for example, you'll be able to see the results through there as well and um, go from there. So it's, it's very simple to set up. It's very easy to get running. And um, with retargeting, it's extremely powerful once you start using and, and get going with the system. So um, yeah, that's basically what it does and what it is. Yeah, and retargeting is still a very powerful strategy today. I don't know how much money we're able to make from our retargeting campaigns. Um, and this is definitely something that I can see implementing that will really make things a lot easier for us. Definitely. And um, it does make things um, uh, far easier. And the, the fact is that you can use this with affiliate campaigns now. So um, with one click of a link, basically, you can retarget any visitor that's just clicked that link and gone through. Um, makes it really easy to do that. Yeah, so you're promoting an offer. You have the link in there. And what you're saying is you're not only the possibility of getting the sale, but it's also whatever they're doing, they're dropping cookies or whatever so that the retargeting takes place. So you can retarget them for future affiliate offers or future ClickBank offers or whatever it is you're promoting, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. If you wanted to, you could actually rotate the ads. Um, so yeah, once someone's clicked on them, you've got your retargeting uh, list you're building up. Um, so yeah, you'd be able to retarget future offers to those people as well if you wanted to and just um, change up the ads. So yeah, 100%, you could um, change those around. What I would recommend though is because because this, um, you know, unless you put a URL here that you were planning on switching, say for example, if I was to put in a, um, a already redirected link um, that I got from my website that went through my affiliate link, then I could change that affiliate link in, um, in that. Uh, there's a tutorial on it in the, in the um, members area. It's probably a bit easier to actually watch the tutorial than explain it. But um, basically, yeah, you could, you could change around this link if you wanted to. Um, to, to promote to that audience, you could try, change around um, you know, the retargeting ads, you could present your offers, um, there's all sorts of things you can do with this. Cool, yeah, I like the layout too, it's very easy, uh, very user friendly, um, it's definitely something that we always look for, we want to make sure that uh, people are actually going to use the software and get it set up, um, so yeah, I mean it's very easy to understand, pretty self-explanatory, good job man. Yeah, yeah cheers. <laughs> Cool. Um, so this is the, now this is the front end product, Sam? Yes, this is the front end. I'll just go back to the screen and I'll explain the rest. Um, uh, you can see me? I can see you. You look good, man. Oh, cool. <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this is the front end. Um, now what we're doing for the one-time offer is we're actually going to um, be selling resale rights to this, white label rights. Okay. So, um, where if you, if you want to get white label rights to it, we'll have that on the back end. So you'll actually be able to have this as your own software. Um, you know that we, we sell a lot of software, we've talked about it on the call, and if you want to get started online the right way, it's a great idea to have some sort of asset that you can continue to sell yourself that um, you know, will be useful to people. So yeah. for those that purchase that want the rights to this, um, they, can, they can get the rights to it. And um, yeah, then we've got a couple of other one-time offers. Um, the one-time offer number two is going to go through how we're using retargeting in our campaigns. It'll basically um, be a full training course and live um, workshops about how you can use this and go through all the different ways of using retargeting and some of the other bits and pieces um, that we're doing with Teespring. And then 023, number one time offer three, um, is uh, an outsourcing package which gives you the ability to use this with outsourcers. You can have outsourcers that are working in your business um, that can basically uh, you know, log into your account and do the retargeting for you if they want. So you can have five different outsourcers um, assigned to your account. That's the outsourcing package. We've got some training with that as well on how to do that. Awesome. The most important thing. Um, before I forget as well, is that um, we are doing an early bird as well. So if you're in early, um, you'll get a, a discount on um, the software. Awesome. And, and you know, we'll, we'll get to the prices here in a minute. But you know, something that uh, I'll tell you guys, something I really appreciate is you drive me nuts with Facebook, right? Like if anybody's going to teach retargeting, it should be you because you're out there doing it, right? 
And I see the yeah. ads popping up all over the place. Your partner's in there. I see their ads and everything else. So, I mean, it's good to learn from somebody that's actually out there digging in the trenches and doing this stuff themselves, right? Um, and it definitely seems yeah. like you've got it all thought out. I mean, outsourcing. I mean, I look at something like this. First of all, the white label rights, everybody knows. Every chance I get to purchase white label rights, I do it. Now, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you offer white label rights before, have you? Um, oh, we do occasionally, <laughs> but yeah, not for a while. Um, usually, we don't do it on on um, on uh, software because you know uh, uh, our software is um, really valuable. Um, this time, uh, I'm doing it with a couple of other guys, and we we had a chat, and we thought, well, hey, this is a really cool software. Why not give people the chance to do it? We'll try it out, test it out, see how it goes. Um, offering re re um, reselling rights and yeah. see what people do with it. So yeah. Yeah, and see, and for people that don't know, I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, Sam, because I'm speaking for you, but basically after the launch, you guys are done selling it. It's done. And people that have the white label rights can go out there and sell it for however much they want, right? Yeah, correct. Um, and we'll, we'll lift the price to probably $97, and then after that, I mean, um, there's no limit on our white label. We just ask that people sell it for a minimum of $27. Yeah, well, but... The thing is, the thing that people don't understand is they're subject to like the Chad Nicely's and the Sam Bakers and the Karthik Kramani's and the, the Chris Jenkins. They, 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 our customers are used to us. And I mean, look at this software, man. And how much are you selling it for? Uh, this one was selling off the early bird for $17 and then um, building from there. Yeah, now you go back in the day with me. Don't you remember getting on webinars and paying like $1,997 for softwares like this? Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah well, I paid 1500 <laughs> for my first one. Yeah. <laughs> like stuff like this, right? It used to be big money. You couldn't just go yeah. and spend $27 or $37 and have a quality piece of software like this, right? And so the people that have the white label rights, what? first of all, who would their target audience be? If they were out there selling this software, who would they sell it to? Um, basically, anyone who's interested in online marketing. Uh, this is useful for any website. Um, I mean, any offline business should be using retargeting in their business. Um, yeah. Any you know marketer should be doing retargeting. So and see, um, yeah, I'm going to suggest I'm going to go one step further and say I'm going to suggest that they go and find SEO companies that already have 200 clients, right, or advertising yeah. agencies that provide retargeting services. Turn around and resell this software for like two or three grand. Right, go for the yeah. big bucks because if they've already got two hundred clients, it's easy for them to justify the value, right? And what I was yeah. getting at is the people that you're going to talk to, those SEO clients and those advertising agencies. They're not subject to our marketplace. They don't know about these insane deals where we're selling just quality, kick-ass software for twenty-seven bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so so yeah. you can go out there and you can ask premium prices for this software. And anybody that picks up any kind of white label rights that's quality product, well, I suggest they do that. I always ask for big prices. Matter of fact, I bundle it together and ask for like 15K, right? <laughs> and I'll definitely yeah, be taking definitely. you up on your white label rights as well, especially with <laughs> Facebook yeah. and retargeting, right? It's a big thing. And yeah, definitely. Outsourcing, you have your own outsourcers, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah. So you you got a lot of experience there, and I know your partners do too, because I know them very well. Um, so, uh, is that training something you're going to be putting on yourself, Sam? Uh, yes, um, I will be. I'll be I'll be running, leading it. But we've got a couple of guests coming on who have done um, a few hundred thousand dollars in Teespring, and um, yeah, another one that's uh, very cool as well. So yeah, um, that'll be uh, really well worth getting onto. Cool. So there's a, there's a lot of value with what you got here. So they get in the door for twenty seven dollars, and then there's an early bird special, right? Yeah. And obviously we've got the link down below this video, and then they're going to be presented with the first one time offer, and that's not the white label rights, is it? Uh, that is the white label rights. Yeah. Okay. And the first one time offer, how much is that going to sell for? Uh, that's starting off at one ninety seven, but we'll probably do a discount for the early bird. 197 but I still suggest that they go out there and they should be able to make back their money. If it was me selling it, I should be able to make back my money on my first client. Not only that, I yeah. should be able to go mm -hmm. poof, right in the profit zone right away, right? Because I'm not going to yeah. sell it for 27 bucks. I'm going to sell it for at least 497 bucks, right? 
Oh, yeah. And yeah. they don't know. It's not like they know that you went and bought the white label rights. They don't know how this whole entire thing works. For all they know, you got a team of programmers working here in like Texas or something, right? That created this amazing software just for your company, right? It, yeah. They don't know. So <laughs> in that case, I mean, why wouldn't you ask premium prices, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just these guys, they don't have to stick with the whole launch mentality, right? I mean, <laughs> think yeah. think bigger in that. That's what I'm getting at here. So after the white label rights, then it goes into the training? It does. Then it's um, the training or the live workshop, so, and the live workshop. So, um, uh, yeah, that's the OTO number two. And, okay. And um, people will be able to get access to that for about $47 to start, and then it'll be increasing from there. Okay, and that's going to be a one-day workshop, or what are you doing there? Uh, two days workshop. Two, day two workshop. days workshop before the training. For yeah. forty-seven bucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, not full two days. Not full two days. Yeah, yeah it's a couple of hours gonna, each workshop. But, but you're <laughs> going to over deliver, right, man? Everybody likes you. Yeah. You're a nice guy. You're going to provide a lot of value. You got a lot of experience, right? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, and, and I always say with those things, if you could just pick up one or two golden nuggets, like if I go all the way back in the day where we're buying, think about all the $1,997 courses we bought. That number really sticks with me, right? I remember getting on a yeah. webinar and spending $1,997 for an informational course. Now, I'm not going to name any names, but you know what I'm getting at here, right? None yeah. of them yeah. ever promised to do what they said they're going to do, right? But each one of them, I was always able to pick up a gold nugget here and there. And eventually, you get enough gold nuggets and you, you, you put together your own system. You figure out how this whole business works, right? And yeah. I attend those live events myself, and I always pick up gold nuggets from them. And if I can just implement just one thing that I don't already have in place or something that I was not aware of, it makes all the difference in the world. That one thing is like a 10% increase in your business, right? And depending yeah. on the level you're at, you'd be talking about an extra 100 grand a month, right? Yeah. I mean, oh, it's, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. And if you think about it, I mean, we pay ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to um, basically do what we do on these live events. Like when I do a live event, um, you know, I reveal everything. Right. I don't leave any stone left unturned. I give all the goods. I put it all out there. I'm very transparent. I know you are too. Right. But we go, yeah. you and I go and me, we meet with other marketers and we spend ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars on an event. And what do we do? Same exact thing. Right. We yeah. reveal the things that are working in our business. We talk about the mistakes we've made. Right. There's a lot of value in this training. And when you're able to sit down with somebody like Sam and you're able to get all your questions answered and pick his brains like I've been doing all night tonight and, you know, pick up those gold nuggets, it's definitely worth it. For 47 bucks, it's just kind of a no-brainer to me. So that's awesome, man. I'm excited about this. This looks pretty good, yeah, man. Let's go. The stuff you do, it, it looks pretty good. So this is for people who obviously are out there pushing affiliate products, people who have their own products. People are doing email marketing. Obviously, the T-shirts are still a big thing. Um, can, yeah. can you think of anybody else? Um, well, yeah, I think you've mentioned most of them. Um, I mean, I think there's a big opportunity here for offline marketing, as you say. And um, yeah, just yeah, anyone who does any sort of general marketing online that wants traffic, this is really going to help you. Um, to, to, to boost, um, basically, um, the traffic back to your site. Yeah, and I know, like, um, we're working with some realtors on um, retargeting um, yeah. because, I mean, that is such a cash cow, right? Once they have leads coming in, my wife used to be a realtor, and that's a cash cow. And they're clueless. When I, the few realtors I'm working with, when I showed them that, hey, we can go out there, we can set up an ad, and we can have a lead generation campaign. We can get their name and email. Yes, we can follow up with them in email, but we can also retarget them. They're like, what do you mean? I was like, we can automatically have foreclosures, uh, you know, construction homes, whatever, appearing on their timeline every day, chasing them all around the internet with banners here and there. And they're like, seriously, you can do that? I'm like, yeah, and I could put your picture Boom, right there in the middle of the banner, right? And yeah. that's what we that's what you gotta remember, guys. Everybody watching this video, you are so smart and intelligent compared to everybody else out there. Do you know that most people, and I'm sure you'd agree with me, Sam, most people don't even know 
that you can use Facebook to build leads. They have no clue, right? They still think this is just a social media platform, right? Yeah. No clue. And so when you start talking about, um, you know, like building lists and retargeting and Facebook marketing and everything, our viewers are so advanced compared to the clients they're dealing with and the other marketers they're dealing with and people outside this circle. And when you guys create the kind of quality products like you do, it's such an amazing opportunity if people just develop the right mindset and just get out there and hit the ground running, right? Yeah, that definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, man. Do you have anything? I don't want to keep um, a lot of your time because I know you're in launch preparation or anything. Um, is there anything, somebody looking at this product who's never done retargeting before, um, is this something they can do? Um, if they're, if, yeah, if, they're, if you're not looking at retargeting, it's something you should be looking into. That's all I could say. Um, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Like, if you want to increase your conversions back to your website, increase your sales, you should be retargeting, even if you're doing affiliate offers, if you're doing any sort of affiliate marketing. Um, now that retargeting is available, you should be doing it. It's just, it's so cheap to get people back buying your products. I mean, you're, you're able to follow them around the web. Who wouldn't want to do that? So if you're looking at this now, if you're, if you're um, new to this, you're wondering, hey, can I do this? We've got all the training in there, um, the 30-day money-back guarantee as well. What I'd probably say is just go in there, try out the training, go through, um, apply this and see the results because every visitor will go further with retargeting than they would have previously. Like, what do you think, what do you think would be the biggest obstacle for somebody who's watching this and they're going, you know, I think I can do this. I think I get what they're getting at. I mean, what do you think somebody's biggest obstacle would be with retargeting? Probably the biggest obstacle is the getting the pixel. <laughs> that's that's probably the biggest obstacle, I think. Um, you know, you need traffic as well. So, uh, you know, there's many ways to get traffic out there. There's plenty of products showing you how to get traffic, and I'm sure mm -hmm. if you're listening to this, you probably got a few. So, um, you can use that. You can get traffic. The the biggest obstacle is really the getting the pixel from perfect audience or ad roll, and there's training everywhere for that. So, uh, really, is a it's a simple process. It should only take about you know two to five minutes. We've got all the training you need as well. Um, so I, I think that from there it, it should be pretty straightforward <laughs> to, to get everything. Then you just need to find a good offer to promote. That's, that's really it. Um, find a good um, offer uh, and, and promote it. So to sum it up, Social Spy Agent, $27 product. That gets you in the door. You get access to the software. Then the first OTO, yeah. you can turn around and sell Sp Social Spy Agent as your own when you pick up the white label rights. And I recommend that you go out there and you ask a lot more than $27. And then after that, you have the opportunities to get into some um, group trainings, some live events, uh, online events, right? With Sam here and maybe his other colleagues, uh, where we go and we pick up some gold nuggets. And I think you said that was like 47 bucks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, yeah, yeah, 47 bucks. <laughs> cool. Yeah. And this is going to close in what? How many days? We're going to do it for seven days, so it'll be available for seven days, but um, definitely encourage you to buy the first time, <laughs> opposed yeah. from having to come back again and again from our retargeting, um, right. and, uh, and and get a better price than you will um, at the end. Yeah, and we do, uh, when we do our launches, we do a lot of retargeting, and I'm, I'm going to assume that you're going to have a monster retargeting campaign with this as well. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Um, anyone that goes to the website should be followed around everywhere, so um, yeah, yeah uh, there will be. I and the thing is, guys, I mean, he would not be doing this if it didn't work, right? Like marketers yeah. don't do things. They don't keep putting out ads. They don't keep running campaigns if they're not making money and it's not working, right? So the things that he is presenting to you today, they're actually out there doing on this launch. And I know you're just going to drive me. I'm just going to shut down Facebook for a couple of days, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are just going to stalk the hell out of us, right? So that's cool, man. It's awesome. Uh, quality products, man. You guys offer top-notch support. Um, I've always enjoyed talking to you. Had a good time, man. You're, you're one of the few marketers that uh, I definitely clicked with right away. So let me ask you this, Sam. How old are you, man? Uh, 26 at the moment, yeah. 26. And how, how many years have you been in this business? Um, oh, well, it depends if you count offline marketing. I've uh, been about eight since then, but um, 2010 was when I started. So it's been about just nearing on 
probably about five years now, nearing on five years since I made that first sale in the Warrior Forum. <laughs> All right. So you're 26 years old. You've been in this business five years. What is yeah. that big epiphany moment? What is, what is the big takeaway? Like, tell me something that's just life changing that leaves our viewers going, you got to be kidding me. Tell us something that <laughs> it's gonna be we just difficult to live up to. <laughs> leave us with an amazing takeaway, man. Like change some yeah. lives here, right? Um, the biggest thing for me was when I was um, uh, in online marketing, when I was first starting out, I was nervous about putting myself out there more than anything. Um, I was, I, I didn't launch my product in the Warrior Forum for two weeks just because I was scared that people wouldn't like it. Um, what I probably uh, encourage people to do is, um, you know, you only get a certain period of time to, to make this happen. Otherwise, you might as well go ahead and do something else. So don't even think hold you back. Just go ahead and do it. Um, that's what I ended up doing. I, I ended up catching up with a friend of mine who had been very successful online and he just told me, he said, you know, you've got all this stuff done, what are you doing? <laughs> get back to Wellington and, um, and get, get it all live, like, what are you waiting for? And um, that's what really got me over, the, over that hump and, and helped me work. So um, the biggest thing is, as always, just take action. Um, it's great to have training, but when you do buy something, when you get software, um, when you do, uh, you know, get online and you've got time to do something, you know, take action. Don't just, you know, blob out and then look at things online. Actually go ahead and create something that's really cool. Um, that's probably what I'd say. Awesome, man. I want to congratulate you on your success. Thank you so much oh, for taking the time and visit with us and letting us inside and telling us about where you live and how you got in this business and a little bit about your background. I mean, that to me is very inspiring and I like to hear from successful people who were just, you know, one day average Joes out there putting up banners and getting their ClickBank <laughs> links and, you know, just building their way yeah. up, man. I think it's awesome and I definitely think um, it's, it's something that our viewers can look at and say, you know, I'm here. But, you know, simple little stepping stones like these guys, these guys have taken and I can be exactly where they're at, right? Yeah. Cool. No, so, definitely. Social Spy Agent, guys, $27, man. No brainer. You pick this up. You can go out there and start setting up these retargeting campaigns throughout the whole entire launch. Watch for those Social Spy <laughs> Agent ads because I promise they're going to be all over the place. And again, pick up the white label training. Get in some training here with uh, Sam. When's your first event going to go live? Um, we're going to go live at 9 a.m. EST on Monday. So that's um, the 12th of January. Okay. And when are you going to start your um, training with the members? Uh, we'll be starting that um, within the, like, basically it's a seven day launch. So immediately on. Okay. After that. So it'll start probably from about the um, 19th to 20th. Cool. Well, I'll definitely be there, so I'll hit you up on the call and give you a hard time, man. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. Good. So, yeah, I definitely yeah. recommend that you guys get in there as well. And remember, I said at the beginning of the call to head on over to entrepreneurlive.tv forward slash winner. And what we're going to do, Sam, you don't know this, but we're going to give away five of your front-end copies. So all they need to do is go there and register for that membership. And what we're going to do is we're going to randomly pick people out of that membership, we're going to give away five. And what's going to happen is they're going to get notified. They're going to head on over there. They're going to buy your product. We're going to turn around and reimburse them just for watching this show. And that's how that's going to go. We're just going to keep giving stuff away. We're going to keep having a good time. We're going to keep putting people on the spot, getting inside their head, finding out what makes them tick. And hey, we're just here to make a difference and have a good time. So entrepreneurlive.tv forward slash winner. That's how you can get registered for the membership. And then you should see a link directly down below where you can pick up that early bird special. And on that note, sir, I want to wish you all the best with your launch and your future launches. And again, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for having me on. And, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> yeah, and we'll see you in the event here. Uh, we're going to be speaking in uh, April uh, from Las Vegas. So that should be a good time too, man. We're going to go out there. We're going to tear it up, huh? Yeah, looking forward to it. Come awesome, brother. Really <laughs> Thank you so awesome. much again. Have a great night. Cool. You too. Bye-bye.